Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. Today we'll be showing you guys the MSI GS70 Stealth Pro. What we have in store for you today is of course a full detailed review starting with the unboxing, then we'll move into the product demo showcasing all the features, software, and hardware. Then we'll get into the benchmarking where we'll do the weight, measurements, gaming performance, heat, and noise levels. And then we'll go ahead and finish everything off with a minor disassembly to show you the hardware from the inside. So here we are getting started with phase one, which is the joyous product unboxing. Of course, this is a lot more fun when you get to do it yourself when you purchase it, but we want to show you what you're going to get inside as far as your accessories. You do get a laptop sleeve with this laptop. This helps you place the laptop inside of a book bag or another case and keep it nice and safe from any kind of scratches, or you can carry it around in this pouch itself. Now I'm sure you're thinking to yourself that normally you don't see a sleeve for a gaming laptop because they're so big and bulky, but the MSI GS70's focus is being on the world's thinnest gaming laptop, and that's why something you would normally see for a casual, multimedia, or business class laptop actually can be provided, such as the sleeve, for a gaming laptop. Now once we get out the main cardboard box everything was shipped inside of, we'll get to the product box on the inside. It's a black MSI box and it is covered in cellophane. So this is going to keep everything well protected on the inside. We'll go ahead and cut this open and show you how it's packed. All right, with the plastic out of the way, this box opens up just from the top. It's really easy to open. You don't have to worry about prying open the edges. Now once you get inside of the box, you get to immediately see the laptop on top. It's covered with the black MSI cloth. Inside that cloth is another plastic covering that keeps it on top of the laptop. And under that, of course, is actually cellophane directly on top of the laptop itself. So you have multiple layers of protection to keep the laptop secured from any kind of shock damage and scratch damage. You can see it looks fairly large as far as the dimensions diagonally because it's a 17 inch laptop that gives you a very nice and large easy to work with screen but the thinness and the lightness of it makes it easy to carry around and slip into different kinds of bags especially a messenger style bag would accommodate this laptop fairly well. Now as we go ahead and get into the box to further open all the different components inside we'll show you all the accessories. On the left hand side in the largest box is the power cable that goes from the wall to your AC-DC power adapter. And then into the center of the box we have a uh, large flat box. This one's going to contain the standard laptop packaging accessory deal with the product manual, your driver's disk, your warranty information. So of course you're always expecting to find that somewhere in there. And then that moves us over to the final compartment on the right hand side, another large flat box. Now be surprised what you find in here. You're actually going to find the power adapter here. Normally you'd look for something bulky and kind of wide, but this one's actually very narrow and that's why it was in that narrow box. This does help accommodate it inside of different bags when you're carrying it around because it's not as bulky. Now to start the product demo, we have it on our carousel the 360 degree view of all the different sides to get a, just a first glance of the form factor and how the unit looks and also the input and output interfaces on the edges. So we'll start that list with our left hand side where we have the RJ45, this is the local networking port, then HDMI output, two mini display port connections, two USB 3.0 connections, and then we have our three 3.5 millimeter audio connections where you can have your headphones plugged in, your microphone plugged in, and a line into the system. Now moving over to the rear side of the unit, it's actually very flush back here. There's no connections. Sometimes you might find your Kingston lock port or the uh, AC to DC jack there for charging the unit, but on this unit you're actually going to find that on the right hand side. So in reverse order from the rear to the front here, we have the Kingston lock port, the DC power input, a card reader, two more USB 3.0 ports, and you'll see that now that we've made it all the way around, there is no optical drive on this unit. So keep that in mind that if you do need to use optical disc for any particular reason, you might want to get yourself a USB connected optical drive for those rare occasions that you actually do need it. And now the last of the four sides is the front of the unit, and of course it's flush here just like the rear, there's no connections. 
but you do on the left hand side have your status LEDs to let you know about your system tasks that are running. So do you want to know how this laptop measures up? And of course we mean that literally, not figuratively. And here's a tape measure to show you the thickness of this laptop. In the front we have about one inch and in the rear we also have about one inch. So unlike some traditional gaming laptops with a wedge shape and it gets very much thicker in the rear, this laptop stays pretty much the same thickness throughout. So we all know what's supposed to go hand in hand with a thin laptop, and that's the thinness of the weight as well. With the GS70, we have the power adapter on the scale right now, and it comes in at one pound and seven ounces. Also, for those who want to know the statistics of the power adapter, here is the amperage and the voltage. And of course, volts and amps multiplied together will give you the wattage. And now for the laptop itself, it comes in at six pounds and one ounce. So that is very light for a laptop. And as a matter of fact, that means when you're adding the power adapter and the laptop together, your total carrying weight is under eight pounds. And so now we've done just that. Here is the laptop and the power adapter together. And we have a grand total of seven pounds and nine ounces. That's pretty easy to carry around, especially if you use some kind of bag that has a shoulder strap, like a messenger bag or a backpack style carrying case. And you don't have to worry about that weight nagging you as you carry it around all day. So now it's time to move deeper into the product demo and of course power on the unit and take a look at what you have with the keyboard, the screen, and the hardware inside. Our keyboard is a low profile chiclet style and it does have multicolored LED backlighting. The keyboard is branded by SteelSeries and this is now becoming common on all the high-end MSI laptops as well as the audio system being done by Dyn Audio. This is still one of the best sounding laptop speakers we've heard as far as Dyn Audio goes, and MSI continues that trend with the GS70. As far as buttons and keys, besides the keyboard, you only have just one, which is the power button, located before the screen and above the keyboard. So you don't find any of the gimmicky touch keys you might find on some other laptops that sometimes can be hit or miss. Everything here is a hardware key, so you know it's going to work as long as you press it down and you feel that click. Now at the top side of the laptop we have our integrated high definition webcam and microphone and of course you get a nice view of the 169 aspect ratio full 1080p matte LED display. While we're still paying attention to the outside of the system one of the things to take note of is that both the palm rest area, the bottom, and the rear of the laptop are all a nice brushed aluminum chassis. So this gives you great scratch resistance and gives you good heat transfer and of course it just looks beautiful. So you can see here how you have the brushed aluminum appearance when the light reflects off the lid and you do have your MSI and gaming logos on the back of the lid as well. So now moving on to one of the last exterior components that a lot of people are going to be very interested in. That's going to be the keyboard backlighting and how that works. So here we are in the dark now we've got the lights out and you can see all of those beautiful LEDs shining through the bottom of the keys. All of your color abilities as far as the different zones, the brightness, the way that the colors change over time can be controlled through the software that we have on screen now. So this gives you lots of control and it's quite intuitive. Now the LED backlight feature itself is not only cosmetic but it also can be productive. Some people might actually need to be able to see the keys in the dark and this gives you an easy way to look down and see what keys you need without having to take a guess or have extra lights on in case you're trying to work in the dark. Sometimes you just don't want to disturb somebody and you might be in the dark. For those who don't need it, it's of course very cosmetic and either for yourself or for other people if you're showing off your laptop. Okay, so here we are not wasting any time straight into the device manager to show you all of the hardware inside of this laptop. So while you read what's on screen, I'll point out the highlights. We are featuring the brand new Core i7-4010HQ for the CPU and of course a high-end dedicated graphics. We have the NVIDIA GTX 870 mobile with 6 gigabytes of GDDR5. The other really cool feature about this laptop is it has a full-blown three micro SATA slots and that means you can have up to three micro SATA SSDs for a lot of speed and capacity. Speaking of those SSDs, here is the Crystal Disk Mark benchmark for those. You can see that we have a capacity of 357 gigabytes. That's actually three separate 128 gigabyte micro SATA SSDs in RAID 0. And so continuing onward with benchmarking, here is something brand new for you guys. Gentech is always trying to push the envelope and give you the most 
complete reviews and now we've actually added a noise testing component to our reviews. So here we are with a decibel meter and we're giving you the reading from just outside of the right hand side of the laptop. This is of course where one of the main air vents is. And then we're going to move that over to just above the keyboard where we have perforations in the aluminum shell. And that's also for ventilation. And this is all being run while we're doing a demanding benchmark. So this isn't just idle noise levels. This is pretty much what you'd expect in high loads, but not maybe extreme loads such as a stress benchmark. And as far as the ambient noise levels in the room, you're looking at about 25. Okay, so we know you've seen us do this one before. We now have our infrared thermometer out and we're doing temperature testing. So of course, we're still running some benchmarks on the system to make sure it's under stress and we're looking for any hot spots. What you don't wanna see is any spots where your hands would be touching being abnormally hot. But what you do wanna see is the areas where ventilation is taking place. You do wanna see heat because that means the heat is coming out of the system and not staying inside and then it's cooling properly. So it looks like by taking a quick sweep of the unit that everything's looking like it's in check, where your hands would be resting are nice and cool, and the other areas of the laptop responsible for ventilation are showing the higher temperatures just like we would expect. Alright, so now more benchmarks, and these are the important ones, and these are our gaming benchmarks. 3 Mark 11 we have a performance score of 6845 with the stock hardware. And here's a quick glance of the GPU-Z readout for the NVIDIA video card. Of course, we have all of our GPU clock speed and memory speeds here, as well as the amount of memory on this card. Again, that's six gigabytes of memory on that card. And next to that, we have our thermal monitoring. We're looking at the maximum temperature for our CPU and GPU. Here, it looks like our CPU got to about 80, low 80s on the maximum temperature and then the video card reached just shy of 90 degrees Celsius full load. Those are really nice cool temperatures for a gaming laptop, especially being under stress. So that definitely passes those tests very well. And we also have one more performance score for you. This is the new 3D Mark Fire Strike. This is a uh, DirectX 11 benchmark and it has a lot of information on it. So feel free to pause the video at any moment if you want to take a closer look at all the details. So we'll start with our score. We got a 1,175 as far as our total score, but this does break into a lot more information. And here we have a graph that shows our frames per second, GPU and CPU temperature. And if you break open the details pane, it gives you even more detailed information on all of that. Okay, now we're moving into our final segment of the review, and that's the disassembly of the unit. We'll start by taking a look at the bottom side. You can get a glance at all of the air intake events on the bottom. There is no easy access bay door on this model, so it's not a few screws and then you're inside of the system. You do have to go all around the perimeter to get the bottom side off. Not incredibly difficult, just not exactly super easy. Now once we remove all of those screws, make sure you keep track of them because they are different sizes as far as length and you don't want to try to put them back in in the wrong spot. So now we get a chance to look at all the hardware on the inside, which is really well designed considering the space they used. In the corners we of course have the dual cooling fan solution. And right below this cooling fan we have our wireless card. Now this particular wireless card is one of the very high end Intel models, the AC7260. So it's capable of using the brand new wireless standard called AC, which comes after wireless N. If you have the right kind of router or wireless access point, it can go up to a gigabit in speed wirelessly. 
So now below the other cooling fan, now you're going to spot the three micro SATA SSDs. So three of them come included already, and they're 128 gigabytes each, and they come pre-configured in a RAID 0 setup, so it's maximum throughput. Of course, you could reconfigure these differently if you'd like to. And below that, we do have the standard 2.5-inch mechanical hard drive, 1 terabyte in size. And this gives you your large capacity you might need for your game files and your music and movies. It's easy to get to and remove, so of course if you ever wanted to, you could replace that with a solid state disk also. And then here is the slimline internal battery, and on the bottom you also see, on the left hand side, the system subwoofer for the sound system. So that, my friends, is going to sum up the internal hardware look, and also complete our review for the MSI GS70 Stealth Pro. We hope that you enjoyed our review video and found it both entertaining and educational, and that it answered any questions you might have had about the unit. Of course, if you still have questions that our video was not able to answer, then feel free to contact us by phone or email, and we'll be happy to help you out with that. For information on the unit, visit our website, gentechpc.com, and go to our product page, which will also be in the description of the video. And there we have the full product specifications, the current pricing availability, and a lot more information on this unit for you. So we just want to remind you that, once again, this was Gentech PC, and we'll see you next time.